Well, hey, 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 what is going on everyone? And so welcome to another one of my tutorials. And so in this evening's tutorial, guys, I will be going over the switch here and I'm gonna show you guys how to install the NES Classic emulator on the switch. Um, I wouldn't really call it an emulator, guys. It's more or less like a front end to RetroArch, but it's still really cool. And what I'm gonna be showing you guys is how to add your own games, um, your own box art and your thumbnails to this right here as you can see and so uh yeah uh it's really fun guys uh to play around with and all that good stuff uh so let's head on over to the computer guys and we'll get started with this and i'll get to show you everything you need to know all right cool let's do it okay guys so i'm just going to show you something really quickly all right i'm going to go into uh my homebrew here all right so there's the nes classic edition this this is the emulator or front end, whatever you want to call it. And so here it is. Uh, when I downloaded this, guys, it come with all these games. It's like 51 games. Um, uh, this is probably, I think this is the actual layout of the original NES Classic. I think it is. Um, but what I'm going to do, guys, all these games here, uh, I'm, I'm going to absolutely just delete every one of them. I'm going to delete all the box art all the uh, thumbnails everything guys I'm completely wipe it all out and start fresh that way you guys can see exactly what I'm doing and you can see the results of it alright so uh, let's hop on over to the computer guys and we'll, we'll jump right into it how about that alright All right, guys, so here we are. We are at the computer portion of our tutorial. And so the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is where you can download these two files. Uh, so I'm going to be as quick as possible, guys, and, and showing you guys how to do this. Uh, but at the same time, I'm going to be as thorough as I can. Uh, I don't want to lose anybody. There's a lot going on right here. And so uh, let's just jump right into it. Let's go to our web browser, guys. And uh, we are confronted with a media fire site. This is my personal upload, guys. This is the NES Classic Edition Complete. This has all the files that you need. So go come on over to the uh, nice, pretty little green download tab and click um, and yeah click it <laughs> anyway okay uh, the next website guys is where you're going to download the latest retro art um, you're going to need retro art for this guys because the NS classic edition like I said before is pretty much a front end to the retro art alright so come on down here this is the one I, I had downloaded guys and uh, that's that alright so Here's the two files here, guys. Uh, I didn't want to cut the video, but I'm going to have to at this point because the Retro Arch is, uh, is is a pretty big file. Okay, so let's just go ahead extract it. It's like a gig and something. I don't know, but uh, I'll see you guys in a second after this thing gets extracted. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, so we're just about done here. Okay, so I'm going to drag this folder over the archive here. And I'm also going to extract the NES Classic Edition Complete RAW file, okay? Alrighty. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do, guys, uh, since you need the Retro Arch uh, for the NES Classic Edition to work, I'm going to show you how to install RetroArch. It's not, it's not that big a deal, guys. Just a couple files. That's it. All right. So uh, I'm going to open up my SD card here. All right. I'm going to open up the RetroArch here. Let me, let me, let me expand this a little bit. Okay. So we have a RetroArch folder here, guys. As you can see, I've got a uh, RetroArch folder here. I've already done it. All you would do is simply just drag and drop this folder to the root of your SD card, guys, okay? That's all you have to do, all right? Um, 
We've also got a switch folder, and I've also got a switch folder on my SD card. So, what we would do is take the contents of that switch folder, guys, and drag and drop it over here. All right, I've already got it over there, and uh, as you can see, I do. And so that's that, and you're and you're done with the retro arch. Uh, you don't need it. So uh, let's let's go ahead and uh, minimize that. Now, we've got our NES Classic Edition here, guys. Let's open this up, and we'll open up my, um... Uh, my Switch SD card once more. And so, uh, let's... Okay, so this is what we have. We have an NSP file here, guys. Uh, what this is gonna do... Uh, if we install it by tinfoil guys what it what this will do what it would create like a channel or a shortcut on your uh, uh, switch menu just like if you uh, installed a game off the eShop you know how it shows up on your uh, menu there that's the same thing this will do okay um, we're going to tinfoil we got uh oh where am I going here where am I at here? I'm in the wrong area. Okay, this tinfoil. <laughs> My bad. This tinfoil here, I'm going to go into NSP folder here. And uh, as you can see, I've already got it. Right there. We just replaced the file. Alright, cool deal. Alright. Uh, as for... Oops. My bad. Uh, the SD card here, guys... Uh, we got a switch folder here, switch folder here, so evidently whatever contents are in this folder is going to go into this folder, alright? So, what we're going to do, we're going to copy this, and we're going to paste it in here, which I've already got it. Which I'm just going to go ahead and uh, override it. Okay, so that's that. Now, now what I told you at the beginning, guys, I said that I was going to delete all the ROMs, box art, thumbnails, everything. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into the ROM folder here, guys, and uh, I'm going to highlight everything. And as you can see, it's a total of 51 files, 51 games, so we're going to delete those. All right. Our box art. Highlight everything. We'll, we'll see how many there, there are. And that's 51. Same as the games. So we're going to delete that. Alright. Thumbnail. Fifty-one. Delete. Okay, and now we're gonna come over here. Okay, so it didn't go into the trash. That's good. All right, so now minimize that. So guys, this is what we got to do now. We have got to uh, convert our games. Okay, so we're, we're gonna create a folder called games. All right. We're gonna do one step at a time here. Now, this these are the games that I've chosen. Okay, let's go to our box art real quick and I'll show you. Okay, so we have uh, 2D box art, we have 3D box art, we have 2D cart box art, and we have 3D cart box art. Okay, so I've chosen a couple games for each one. All right, so for the 2D version, uh, 2D box art, I went with Mega Man. Okay, all right, so we're gonna open, uh, yikes. We're gonna open this NES up. Here's all my ROMs here, guys. I got all the NES library, including Famicom, Hacks right here, Hacks right here. So let's look up our Mega Man right here. Oh, there they are. 
and we're going to simply highlight those right there and we're going to copy and paste them right there all right so for our 3d box art we're going to go with batman so let's go up here to bees right here those three batman right there we're going to copy those and we'll put them in our folder here all right so for the uh, 2d cart picks we're going to go with adventures of lolo right here we're going to copy and we're going to paste all right and for the 3d we're going with venture island it should be around here somewhere here we go we try in one two and three we copy and we're going to paste all right so there's all of our games guys so what we're going to do now we're going to open up our nes classic edition we're going to go down here to nes classic tool set version 3 okay what we're going to do we're going to we're going to take this build data json dot bat file and we're going to copy it over here in the same folder now what this is going to do it's going to create a new data dot json file it's also going to create a roms file which is going to uh put it's going to reconvert all these games here without spaces like adventure island here see how it has spaces it won't have any spaces so that's that's what we're going for there and let me go ahead and double click on this bat file and show you guys okay so there's our JSON file there. There's our ROMs file, and there's, as you can see, no spaces whatsoever. All right, so that's good. And what we can do now, guys, is highlight everything except our ROMs folder and our data dot JSON folder. Delete everything else. Uh, we're going to cut these out and paste them outside here. Get rid of our ROMs folder, delete it. All right, there we go, guys. There we go. Okay, so we're done with the games. That's our games right there. All right, now, what we're gonna do now, guys, is we're gonna open up, well, let's create another folder first. And we're gonna call it, um, let's just call it pictures. How about that we call it pictures all right now what we need to do now is we need to gather up our Mega Man Batman Adventure Lolo and Adventure Island pictures okay so what what I said uh oh wrong wrong folder all right so what I said first guys it was the 2d was with, with the Mega Man <coughs> So we're gonna scroll down to the Mega Man. Right here, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and this one. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna copy, and we're gonna paste in here. Okay, the next one was a 3D we're gonna open up the 3d and that was the batman so let's scroll on down to the batman right here uh, so we got this one this one and this one and so we're gonna copy and we're gonna paste inside of our folder there and so uh, next one was the 2d cart which was the adventures of lolo Right here this one this one and this one and we're going to copy those guys 
I'm going to paste them right in there just like that. And what we're left with now with the 3D Adventure Island. Let's see, Adventure Island. Did I miss it? see um, oh here they are right here this one this one and this one so we're gonna copy those three and paste them right in there okay all right so there's all our pictures guys right there all right so now what we got to do we got to uh, go to this folder right here, which is inside the NS Classic Edition Complete file. Go into it. And what we have to do, guys, these are already PNG, right? We do need PNG, but the program that we're going to use, uh, it has to be a, a JPG first. So what we got to do, um, let's just go ahead and copy all three of these into here and paste them. All right, so what we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna use this PNG to JPG extension changer dot bat file to change all these to JPG. Okay, there we go. They're all JPG. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna click on this uh, resize JPG box art dot bat file. This is gonna convert it over. So let's go ahead and do that. Once it stops, just keep hitting enter, guys, until the uh, command prompt uh, disappears. So this is pretty much doing one game at a time here there we go okay so as you can see guys it created a box art and a thumbnail um, folder if you go into it guys these are all resized uh, they're also doggone um, they're re they're renamed uh, to what the uh, ROM is okay the thumbnail these are smaller right here uh, they're also renamed to what the ROM is. Now, anytime dealing with a Wii or whatever, guys, if you're dealing with a, a, a ROM and a box art, a picture, whatever like that, guys, they have to be named the same. You cannot have it named any any different. No space or nothing. Not even a little comma in or anything, guys. Okay. All right. So this is what we're gonna do. Um, we're going to pull up this right here. I'm going to our switch right here. Go into our clover. Go into user. Go into, what is this right here? Hold on a second. This is pictures. Okay, so we, we got we got box art right here. We got box art right here. Let's open up box art and we're gonna highlight everything. And we're gonna cut and we're gonna, we're gonna place all those in the box art. All right. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to thumbnail. And we're gonna highlight everything and we're gonna cut these out. We're going to thumbnail over here and we're going to paste them right in there just like that. Alright. Now, as for the ROMs, we already got the ROMs figured out, right? Um, they were uh, right here. These are, okay. What we're going to do. Ah, yeah, yeah. And cut these and go into the ROM. Paste. Okay. Now, as for this data.json file, 
Now, what we got to do here, guys, uh, this is this is a little tricky now. Uh, a little tricky. Uh, do not... Um, what we're going to do, we're going to update this file here. Do not replace it with the other file. Do not do that whatsoever, guys. Do not. Okay? Um, because that program that we use... Uh, I will show you here in a second. Let's go ahead and rename this. We're going to rename the extension to a text file. Alright? Now, this is what we have, guys. Okay? This, this is the original file right here. This has the original 51 games right here. Okay? Alright. Now, as for the ROM, We got to rename TXT. Okay. Now let's pull this one over this way and it will back out and we'll pull this one up over here. Alright, so this is what we got guys. Um, as you can see, you see the difference. This is a normal file this is not the normal file right here all right this is the one that that little program had created which is wrong okay what we have to do we have to make it look like this one all right so what we got to do is move this over this is the uh bad part about the uh i mean if you especially if you have a lot of games this sucks it really does but you have to make it like this I've already played with it guys it does not work if you do not do this all right all right this right here get rid of this comma all right okay and this right here guys move this over even with these right here and then when you click out of it hit save all right so this one right here, guys. That's the details. That's the original one. So what we want to do? Delete that one. All right, delete it. Go into our ROM folder. Take this one, cut it, and we're gonna replace it with that one. All right. So that way we have our Adventure Island and all that good stuff. Uh, just go down through there and make sure everything is uh is right we seem to be right here we're good all right so now we, we need to go back and rename this to a json file all right all right so that's that so we got all of our roms all of our box art all of our thumbnails guys we are good all right we are good and uh so we can we can eject this right now guys and we, we can put it on our switch and we'll head on over to the uh tv there and we'll dock it up and we'll see what we got all right okay guys so here i am we're at my switch and let me can connect my controllers real quick and we'll be uh we'll be getting on the roll here okay so uh i'm gonna scroll up to my album here guys i'm gonna press the a button to go in my sx os menu i'm gonna go over to homebrew scroll all the way over to the nes classic edition and uh there we go guys uh there's adventure island there's my uh, 3D carts right there. 
Alright, there's my uh, Adventures of Lolo, which is the 2D carts right there. And uh, there's my Batman, which is which was the 3D uh, 3D box art. And all the Mega Man, which is a 2D box art. Pretty cool, guys. Pretty cool. Uh, so, uh, we go into, let's say, uh, let's go into Venture Island. How about that? Let's just check it out. And there we go. Venture Island, guys. As you can see, down there at the bottom, this, this is a retro arc. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit my, uh, Specific buttons to uh, boot out of this as you can see there's a retro arch right there guys and uh, we'll go down here to quit all right and uh, now what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna go up here let's see um, where do I go here okay let's go over here let's go to tinfoil oh yeah yeah, yeah. okay tinfoil All right, there's 10 foil right there. This is an NSP installer. So we can go ahead and go into it. Okay. <clears throat> a lot of options with this right here. We can go to file browser here, guys. Go to my SD card. And we can go down to 10 foil folder right here. And we can go down to NSP. And there's my NES Classic Edition NSP. What we're going to do, we're going to install this thing. Hit OK. There we go. We hit Home. And as you can see, guys, it's added it on my home, home menu right here. We can just simply hit A button here. And bam. There we go, guys. As you can see, it works just fine. Let's go. Let's try some Batman. And there we go. <clears throat> Works great, guys. So, uh, if you guys like this front end to Retro Arts, uh, let me know, guys, because I mean it's really fun to play around with stuff like this. I mean, it really is. Uh oh, I just got hit. I, I'm getting my butt whooped. Anyway, uh, this is the best Batman game ever made, guys. I don't care what anybody says. Best Batman game ever made. Graphic wise, soundtrack, every doggone thing, guys. Uh, yeah, I have beaten it, but I've, I've used uh, safe states and stuff like that. I haven't used cheats, but I've used safe states. But yeah, anyway. Guys, yeah, this this is uh this is awesome. I mean, I love it to death. Uh, I hope this helped you out. Uh, I done. I don't know how much time I put into this, trying to figure this thing out, guys. And I went into the JSON file and and studied it, trying to figure out what was going on. And I try, uh, I finally figured it out. And I hope, it, I hope it helped you guys out. So, uh, I'm going to leave y'all guys at this. Uh, and uh, I hope it helped. Like it. <laughs> Again, I hope it helped you out, out guys. And uh, I'm just going to let y'all have it. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next Let's Play tutorial. Whatever I get myself into, guys. And uh, see you guys later.